Hello, and welcome to Unit 3 of the course. This is an extra introductory video for this unit because there's some additional things I wanted to say to get you ready for this unit that I didn't say in the video I made the last time that I offered the course. So there are two main things that um, I wanted to alert you to. First, this unit is long. It came out a little longer than I had planned, um, and in revising this course, I didn't see an easy way to shorten this unit or an obvious way to split it into two. So unit three is long. Um, the next couple units, four, five, and six, aren't as long as this. So don't worry, the units aren't going to keep getting longer and longer and longer. They'll actually get a little bit smaller. Also, a reminder that the course is self-paced. So even though I'm rolling out one unit every week, you don't have to do that unit in that week. The only deadline is that all the tests have to be completed by the very last day of the course. So you can move through as quickly or as slowly as you want. There's one other thing I wanted to mention before we get into the main intro video, and that is that several times uh, in the videos, I'll make reference to and point you towards some web-based programs that you can use to carry out some explorations. I bundle together, there are just two of them, I bundle together those two programs in um, section 3.7. So um, there are links beneath videos, but you can also just jump right down to section 3.7 and access those two programs there. Also, uh, in case you want to access those programs offline, I created a zip file which bundles together the HTML and all the JavaScript and has some simple instructions. So if you want to use uh, those programs when you're not connected to the internet, you should be able to by following those uh, directions. If you have trouble with any of that, let us know in the forum and we'll see if we can straighten it out. Lastly, several times in um, the video, uh, in videos, I mentioned that you can find the programs or you can find section 3.7 and I reference a navigation bar over here. That was in an old layout for the site. There's no longer a navigation bar on the right, as you know. So um, instead, you uh, can access a list of all the units by clicking on the watch all videos or see all lectures, which is actually a button that's now above me instead of on the right. Anyway, I don't think it'll be a problem. You'll be able to find um, all the programs. They should work just fine. They worked fine last year. But as usual, if you have any questions, send me an email on the Complexity Explorer site or go to the course form and we'll try to get you straightened out as soon as we can. So, Welcome to Unit 3, and next will come another introductory video which will welcome you again to Unit 3.